Good morning, y'all. We are in Vegas. So I was here earlier this week for ThriftCon. I made some content out there, but I also made a friend. Her name is Kirsten. And like, guys, she watches my channel and she knows that I have like a whimsical mug collection and she knows that I love unicorns. So she literally gifted me this mug and it was just the sweetest thing ever. We got to talking, we became really good friends. So she was just like, hey, if you're ever in Vegas again, hit me up, let's hang out, let's thrift. So that's exactly what we're doing today. And don't judge my blush, but it's literally hanging on by a piece of tape. But you know what? It gets the job done. So I'm actually not here by myself. Arthur's with me, but he's at When We Were Young, which is a rock music festival. I wasn't too crazy about the lineup this year, so I told him, like, hey, if you could sell my ticket while you're in line, awesome. If not, I'll just go ahead and go. He couldn't sell it because he was, like, one of the first people there. So I want to at least go watch Rise Against. But as far as thrifting, we're going to go hit up Savers. I saw that Macy went to this location when she was in Savers, and she came across the cutest freaking find, so I want to test my luck. What do we think about the fit? I didn't put it together. Arthur actually did. So I thrifted this top earlier this week when I was here. This is a skirt that I picked up in Paris. I've only been wearing my Converse because they're the only shoes that don't kill my feet with all the walking. And then we're doing the Miko bag. I also have the worst luck when it comes to vacationing. If I'm ever traveling, I'm always on my period. So we're gonna stock up on some tampons and little panty liners. Now we are good to go. Let's go thrifting. I honestly can't even thrift that much just because we only have one carry-on and the weight limit is only 40 pounds and coming here our luggage was 39 pounds so I think my goal today is just to find an outfit that I can wear tomorrow when I hang out with friends so maybe like some sort of cute top and a skirt. Y'all we made it and I feel so bad but I'm late. I started chatting with my Lyft driver about AI so it was super interesting but let's see if we can find her. She said she already started browsing so maybe I should text her one second. Yeah, that's super cute. Yes, so. we were on the hunt for skirts on the way over. We found this. I love this little crinkle construction and it's actually a size small. Usually when I come across this style, they tend to be a little bit more oversized, but her we will absolutely get and only $5. Hell yeah, that's so cute. Pink and black combo, only $4.99. This place is heaven. I love this and it has a pointed hem. Okay, if we're gonna put her into the cart. The way I pulled this out and then Kirsten comes over, pulls this up, y'all. All this needs is like some sort of cami and it would have been so good. But I don't know what's up with this skirt because is she burned? Or no, 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 I think it was just dragging maybe. It's just a little dirty, that's a little too much. But moment of truth, how much are they asking for? 829 no i don't think i could do that i'm so easily influenced y'all i see a paper tag made in usa and i think it's cute but i think ultimately i need to try it on i got something going on with stripes right now but i'm not mad about it yes. okay, so what is it it's the jw anderson collaboration with uniqlo always wanted to order it and then i was just too lazy to pay for shipping let's see how much is this eight dollars girl you can't it's beat that a shot yes right. and the corduroy is perfect for fall too i am obsessed with corduroy i hope to find corduroy overalls oh that would be like vintage ones yeah we also came across the moschino size medium for only seven dollars this is screaming y2k almost like what ed hardy and then we have this little tag. Yeah, it's so cute. But this definitely does not fit like a medium. Maybe like a kid's medium. So let's keep looking. I'm so lucky with Pumas at the thrift store. Just came across another. Are they cute? No, I'm not really feeling these. I think these are a little ugly. And they're pretty dirty too, but we'll they leave those. Tiny. Yeah. Wait, I love these. These I love for only yes. $5. Okay, this is getting bloquette. Love these. Okay, let's try it on. I kind of think they're ugly, but I feel like maybe with the right styling, that's all it is needing. Wait, I kind of love them. They're like so ugly, I think I need them. And they're only $5, you can't beat that price. I'm just gonna leave them in the cart for now. That pop of color is so cute. I know. You know, I find it harder to walk in kitten heels than like regular size it's like heels. like they're so close to the ground, but they're so scary. Yes. <laughs> Good tag. I like the, the metallic. Yes. Those look in like pretty good condition too. Right? Born? 
I kind of love these. Wait, do you know this brand? Yeah, it's Born. Oh, I don't know this brand. Is it good? It's pretty good. Their shoes usually are definitely over $100. Oh, damn. I was just going to say, this looks like a dad shoe, but in like the best way possible. Let's take a quick break from thrifting just so that I can tell you how I take care of all of my creative designs for my small business. So I'm talking stickers, business cards, and even my logo branded Twinel tote bags. Just last week, I ran out of business cards. So this is an old design. It's cute, but I think we need to change. So we're gonna be making a new design on Kittle, which is today's sponsor. They're an easy to use design platform where you can make graphics, logos, mock-ups, literally any digital design you need for a small business, you can do it on Kittle. And the best part too is that you don't need a creative background to use Kittle. So it's super user-friendly. Let me show you how easy it is. It already has the dimensions for a business card. The orientation, we're just gonna switch it so it sits more horizontally. With text, you can manipulate it however you want. So we could change the color, add a border weight, of course, change the font, the size, and even the letter spacing. Lately, I've really been into collages. So we're just gonna go into the photos here, type in paper, and just scroll until we see something that we like. And already, I'm seeing this one. Lastly, we're just gonna go into elements. <laughs> Another thing that I'm totally obsessed with are stars. So we're just gonna type in stars, find the ones that best fit the look. I think ultimately, we're just gonna do a grunge texture but just change the opacity on it so it's not as intense and here's the final look it only took like 10 to 15 minutes super quick but even if you're thinking okay Danielle this is still very creative that's okay Kittle has your back they have templates that you can choose from so for example let's just choose this one here. I just want to show you the upload feature that they have. So if there is an image that you're totally in love with and you want to use, we could do that. So mine is this bunny one here. The add elements feature is going to be your best friend. So if there's something you don't like about the existing template, all you got to do is replace it, change the color, maybe change the font, and you're good to go. And just like that, we took a bar cocktail template into a bunny adoption one. Let me show you something that's really cool. So if you do have some sort of logo or text that you want to print out on tote bags, t-shirts, or even like a mug, you can totally do that on here. And you can also generate a mock-up so you know what it would look like. So let's just take my Twinel logo, for example. I love printing my logos on tote bags. So we're just gonna go into print your design, go into tote bags. You could also choose the amount that you want. You just add to cart and then it gets delivered straight to your doorstep within eight to 10 business days. I do have a link down below in the description so you can try Kittle Print now. And I have a promo code Twinel where you can get a free 30 day Kittle Pro plan. So get designing get printing a huge thank you to kittle for sponsoring this portion of today's video let's get back to thrifting i see leopard and i am intrigued <gasps> wait i know that's so good it's a size 10. if only i were a size 10. you know what let's just try them on wait i don't think that would fit me wait look at these why are these so good this wooden sole no one's good. Look, the way it's like legit wood. She just found some pumas. I haven't seen this style before. Oh my gosh, I love the textile. What is this? I think it's canvas. The canvas heels. I don't know about the sequins. Is it giving cheap? No, it's giving Vegas. It's blow cat. It's blow cat. Oh, we're so close. Is that noticeable? Is it too noticeable? <laughs> Okay, let's do the pink ones, please. That's less noticeable. Man, I'm gonna be leaving these behind, but look at how cute. Let's see, these are a size 10. These are also a size 10. So if these are your size, definitely come snag them. I will leave them on the bottom row and they're only $7.99. I usually have horrible luck in the shoe section, but look at these Tommy Girl flats. Oh my goodness. I love a good black and pink combo. Oh, what size are they? A size six. Oh, they're Tommy Hilfiger. Oh, Tommy girl. Yes. They're little girls. Oh, are they literal little girl shoes? Yeah, I think so. Oh my God, that's way too tiny. I think they are because I wore Tommy girl when I was in elementary. Damn, even these are so cute. Look at this butterfly emblem. Oh, is that Allegra? You're so good with your brands. <laughs> these, someone needs these. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's cute. Doesn't Kim K have like a, a shoe? Did she do a collaboration with like Skechers or something? She's like literally, these are my design. <laughs> Wait, because I actually love those. They're the anti-shoe. 
wait, look at these Steve Madden. I kind of love this heel. It looks so comfy. Literally. So from Steve Madden. I know. Come to. <laughs> we were just in the size 9 and 10. So many cute shoes, they just don't fit us. So now we're in the size six, six and a half. And again, cute shoes, they just don't fit. Here's another questionable pair. Doesn't this remind you? Did you ever wear those like princess no, slippers from these. Disney? I had these when I was younger. I had these. I wore them Literally? on vacation in like seventh grade. Uh -huh. I did. I wore them to the I is it the love Huntington them. Library? Yes, in yes, yeah, yeah. I wore them there, and I thought I was the coolest girl. Girl, how did you do that? My feet would be killing. <laughs> Oh my goodness, these are so good. Okay guys, if you're a size 10, if you're a size six, this is the location to go to. But look at that blue one with white. That's kind of cute. cute. Wait, I kind of like that this one. one too. Is that a Tijanello? This is probably a Tijanello. Wait, this is $24. Oh, that's a B. Mikowski. <laughs> look at you jumping <laughs> on these brands. I'm just like, okay. Yeah, it is, it totally is, see? Oh my goodness, what does that mean? Is it just good? Um, it's like, it's not a cheap brand, but it's not an expensive brand. Their uh -huh. stuff is made of real leather, mm -hmm. so it's like probably gonna hold up really well. And this color is beautiful. This is that a one's nice too. How much is this one going for? I don't know. Please, if it's under... It's giving... No, oh. uh, $24.99. Okay, it's... they'll get their little minute of screen time here, but they're just not coming I with us. I wish the buckle was like cool. You don't like this buckle? Is it too geometric? No, I don't like the, oh. the logo so big. Oh, you God. Know what I mean? Yeah. I am not very much into accessories, but you have to admit, this guest bag, the monogram, the colors, the studs, is so good. And maybe I'm a little biased because it's kind of matching my outfit today, but let's see how much she is. $10.99. Okay. It's a lot better price than the others. That's cute with your outfit. Too. I know, but. In reality, I would never use her. Y'all, I saw the stripes from far away. It is giving America. It's giving patriotic, but it's a brand cool wear jeans, size seven. They're also embellished. And look at this butt. A good booty moment here. I'm gonna keep them in the cart. How much are they? Ooh, they're 12.49. Ooh, that's a little expensive. Okay, I thought these were super cool, but for $12, and they look like they're gonna be super heavy, so I don't think these are gonna work in my luggage. I got so excited because I saw, okay, far away, I saw this like bleach tie-dye type look, and then I was thinking, oh my gosh, it's the mountain. I pull it out, I see the ferry, and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, this is a grail. I see $7, and then I see Shein. No, no, no. Definitely got me, she's going right back. We made our way back into the skirts and I came across this one. <gasps> Eve jeans, $11.99. I wanted this to fit so bad, but the hips are just not gonna fit in this. We've been here for quite some time now. I am being very selective. We literally just went through all of that. I wasn't having the best luck and then I found her. Look at this. We've got some royal bones. It's a size small. This price tag is a little hefty. Usually I wouldn't drop $12 on a zip jacket, but you have to admit this is so damn cool. Comes with the lace hood, the lace up details. Yes, we just gotta have her. And I think she might make a really good outfit with this pink skirt. Yes, this was a promising blouse because look at the shine, the color and the print. But this is what it's looking like. It is not given. Looking like a disco shirt. And these straps are just so confusing. It makes no sense because we're thinking it's supposed to be like that, but there's no room to actually tie it. So she's going back onto the hanger, but it is a paper tag made in USA. The thing is like, I don't really wear purple much, but you gotta admit that is given fairy. It would be perfect for the Ren Fair. I just don't know how I feel about these sleeves. I don't think I'm really into like long puff sleeves. Oh. I don't like this material. Oh no? Because Why? Because when you sweat, mm -hmm. it, it, I feel like it traps all my sweat. <laughs> <laughs> like the smell or the actual? Both. Both. No, I love it. Literally with like some sort of mini skirt. Oh, that would be really cute. Yes. Oh. Or it's also giving elf. You're just missing yeah. ears and then perfect for the fair. Kirsten just found this and it is freaking adorable. But look at this tag. It's also a paper tag. A little bit of skin does peek through through the lace. So that is kind of cute. We might 
just have to get her. I only have one reject of the day and it kills me to leave her behind. I just feel like she might be a little too heavy and it's also $11. She's very cute. Someone needs to come grab her. And then look at this back vent. So sexy. We're back from Vegas and it is a gloomy day in Los Angeles. But first of all, I just want to apologize for not properly introducing Kristen to you guys. I just really wanted to be in the moment and enjoy our time together while we were thrifting and not make her feel like I was ignoring her by being on my phone too much. And then ultimately I forgot to introduce her. So this is Kristen, y'all. Huge shout out and thank you to her for hanging out with me. And also she's a graphic designer. So if you're looking for any sort of like marketing visuals, illustrations, she's your girl. I'll leave all her info down below. But Let's get to my haul. I only walked out of Savers with four freaking items. That is so good. But I did fly Spirit first and last time I am ever flying Spirit because it is filthy. Filthy. But it was also going to cost me $89 if I was going to bring a crap ton of clothes. So till this day, I'm still regretting that I didn't pick up those jeans with the American stripes on the front. And I thought they were too patriotic. And then I remembered I literally own these pair of pants. They're dead stock, I haven't even taken. What is that honking? Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. This is screaming Americana, but I kind of like this a little bit more just because they have cute little cowgirls on them, but the stars, the stripes, this doesn't even compare to the ones that I found at Savers. But let's just start off this haul with a controversial piece these shoes i posted a poll on my ig stories just to kind of get you know the feel for them it was very 50 50. so maybe my vision wasn't strong enough or maybe they just really are ugly but i could not leave them behind i just love the pink stripe and the backing isn't like my total favorite but also cramps a breeze paper cuts can handle that stepping on this little tiny back part while wearing them that is true pain and if you know you know i'm not even exaggerating when i say this but my entire time here in los angeles which has been like a little over six years now i've been trying to find a crinkle shirt like this in my size i do come across them but i usually come across like medium to extra large but they also run pretty big so really the medium fits like a large it took having to go to las vegas to find one and look at her she's so cute you also can't really tell just from looking at it but besides it having this like crinkle construction to it it also has a tonal stripe print to it the ruffles also give so much volume to it like just holding it up it's such a pretty blouse the first time i came across the brand spring street was actually the first time i ever thrifted in vegas i came across this skirt. the outer layer is just gray with these cute little white flowers all over it. and ever since i've been obsessed with the brand Look at this. I came across Spring Street again, only in this very like pointy asymmetrical skirt. Usually I do like this color combo, but I'm still deciding whether I like it or not just because it kind of gives costume. So I'm thinking we should just lean into it. If it's screaming pirate, we're gonna style it as a pirate with some fishnets, some boots, and the ruffled vest. Ending this haul with my favorite. We found some Royal Bones, which is a brand I do come across, but usually it's just those plaid skirts. So. Finding a top has been unheard of on this channel and especially a zip up. But this couldn't have come at a better time because it's cold in Los Angeles now. So I'm ready for the layers, ready for the jacket. I know this was a short one, but the savers location was pretty good, especially the shoe section. So I'll leave the address down below. Also, if I'm ever in your area, I'm so down to hang out. It doesn't even have to be thrifting. I'm open to literally anything. I love playing tours. So if you want to show me around your city, I'm down to do all the touristy things. But also a huge thank you to Kittle for sponsoring today's video. So don't forget, I do have that link down below in the description box where you can try Kittle Print now. But as always, y'all, I do post videos at least once a week. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!